Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. About two weeks ago, I posted a video that Patch Tuesday updates were yet to stay. And the reason for that video um, was because there was a lot of reports and rumors and some confusion to a certain extent during the rounds online and in the media that Microsoft's new AutoPatch service was going to replace the monthly Patch Tuesday updates. And as I mentioned in the video, um, those rumors and reports were false and that Patch Tuesday updates um, were yet to stay and would not uh, be ending and going away in the month of June last month, 2022. And I will leave a link to that video down below uh, if you would be interested. And if you are an average home user, um, this AutoPatch service is not going to affect you. It is for enterprises and corporations. But nonetheless, um, due to the fact that there were um, all the false rumors and all the confusion during the rounds, Microsoft has recently confirmed um, and squashed these rumors um, by posting um, on their website and also tweeting recently over on Twitter, um, basically um, sharing a, a PSA explaining how the AutoPatch service will work with Microsoft's Endpoint Manager and Windows Update for Business to deploy automatic updates. And as we can see by the header here, the title, they say, PSA on our Windows Auto Patch, Microsoft Endpoint Manager, and Windows Update for Business Update policies work together. And they've just provided a helpful chart if you are an admin. And um, they basically, this chart is basically showing how the Auto Patch service will work alongside Windows updates and with Windows updates. And um, how they summarize it um, in the post, um, Microsoft says that AutoPatch will work with Windows updates in the following way. Uh, the general availability channel is the source for Windows updates through Windows AutoPatch. Policies for quality and feature updates can be set independently to meet your needs. And then they go on to say that admins will be able to see what updates have been applied through the Windows Auto Patch Message Center in the Endpoint Manager and will learn what updates to expect. And then they say uh, the familiar cadence of monthly Windows security and quality updates, that's the rollout of those uh, monthly Windows updates, also referred to as B-release updates, will continue and out-of-band updates, which are, also, which are also known as emergency updates, will be applied as needed and that's how Microsoft basically uh, is describing this chart um, just to make it and break it down a little bit more simpler. And I will leave a link to that post, um, getting started with Windows Auto Patch, which by the, by the way is still in public preview and we are expecting that to become available this month um, in July. I'll leave a link to this post down below. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.